Hey Vinyl Community, welcome to my channel, RB's Vinyl Corner. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the latest record by Joe Bonamassa, which is called Time Clocks. I hope you're going to enjoy this video, and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Hi, my name is Richard and welcome to my channel. Uh, for the ones who have been following me for a while now, I've been doing this already for a couple of years, uh, I'm really happy to see you again in, in my new video. And also, uh, I have an Instagram page where I post a lot of the stuff I'm listening to. So if you are interested, please uh, come to my uh, Instagram page. I will put up a link below this video and it would be highly appreciated if you would become a follower. So uh, really, really, uh, really thank you a lot for all my followers who keep tuning in on my videos and also a really welcome, a warm welcome to all my new viewers and hopefully you like the content that I come up with. So today I'm going to talk about the latest studio album by blues giant Joe Bonamassa. It's called Time Clocks and it's just been released and I got to be completely honest with you. I have never ever listened to a Joe Bonamassa album before. I don't know why, it just somehow never really uh, appealed to me. Um, but this guy has already been around for like 20 years or something. He came up with already, this is his 15th studio album, which by the way is an incredible accomplishment by itself to come up with so many albums in just, just, just a short amount of time. Uh, there are artists around there that come up with one album every three or four years, but this guy has been releasing stuff at least on a yearly basis. How my curiosity got triggered was actually by reading a review from a fellow Instagram user that wrote a very, very interesting review about his album. And it kind of like triggered my interest. So I went like, okay, just let's give it a go and maybe it will surprise me. So I bought the album, which by the way, if you look at it, has incredible artwork. I mean, the artwork here with this broken hourglass uh, really, really, really effective. But I went like, okay, just let's try it out and, you know, see what happens. And I listened to this album and holy shit, what an amazing piece of work. It really blew me away. And I've been listening to this already now for like a week in a row, every day again. And it's absolutely growing on me. And it's absolutely a fantastic album. This is an album that has stuff here that we can relate to, that I can relate to. There's a lot of stuff here that's really, really recognizable. Um, the, the, the music can be best described as blues rock, but on this album there are a lot of other influences as well. There are songs here, for example, a song like Curtain Call, which immediately uh, remembers uh, you of uh, Led Zeppelin. There is some Robert Gray stuff here. Uh, I don't know if you remember that guy, but it's an, like an old blues uh, rocker from, from the 80s, which had some great, great songs as well. Um, it, it has uh, a lot of really interesting stuff. Now it opens with an instrumental and it's really setting the tone for the rest of the album and uh, in which time is a recurring kind of a theme. It it's just runs through the whole album as an overall theme uh, where we have to deal with time in our lives. All right? Time passes by and uh, we grow and, we, uh, and in that time we lose and we win and we gain. And it's absolutely amazing. It opens with uh, a song called Notches. And uh, immediately that song, when I heard it for the first time, it has this great guitar riff it goes like which is really great and it runs through the whole song for seven minutes and then it's accompanied by great great lyrics simple but great uh, here he is singing like uh, i got miles under my wheel and notches in my walking cane which basically translates as um, i have a backpack I'm, I'm carrying stuff around you know i've been around here for a while been there done that it formed me to the person i am uh, but i'm carrying this stuff around and it basically actually uh, it's like he is warning you for uh, hey if you want to hang around with me uh, just 
just just know that I've been there. I have this stuff. It's make me to the person I am today. So if you're gonna poke the beer, so this is where uh, some of these lyrics here, uh, you're bound to lose. All right. So deal with this stuff and accept that this is the way I am because I got those miles on the mile wheels and not just in my walking cane. Great song. I can absolutely relate to. It. The second song, uh, The Heart That Never Waits, um, again, it's, it's, it's a great song which has great lyrics. Uh, time, again, is a uh, running theme through this one. In this case, it says, time is the healer that rescued me. Now, here we are. We have to learn in life. We learn to deal with things and only time can basically heal the wounds. And sometimes, you know, we make mistakes in life sometimes we uh, or sometimes we lose something in life and we have to deal with loss the blues led to the bottle that landed me on the street uh, another lyric in this song that all right so i've been through some hard times in life and uh, i had to you know uh, i had to deal with it and uh, it, it just brought me to the absolute depth of life and then i have to climb up again and only time will tell whether i will be able to do so or not uh, Fantastic song, guys, and uh, also, again, musical-wise, a great blues rocker. And it obviously also deals with uh, with love and losing a love, having this... You, you get into a relationship with the best intentions in the world, and then it just doesn't work out, you know. Title track, Time Clocks, is an amazing, larger-than-life ballad. As, the, as soon as you hear this, it will immediately captivate you. And also, the, the, the singing of this guy in this album is really touching. It, he's, he might not be the best vocalist in the world, but he has the right voice to sing songs like this and to bring them, and it's really, really amazing. So here we have just a couple of songs. This is the opening of this album that sets the tone, and there is a lot of other uh, great songs on this album. Questions and Answers. I love that song and oh my god, can I relate to stuff that's happening in that song as well. Another great ballad, Mind's Eye. Um, great song with a great, great touching guitar melody. Um, and I can continue and can continue. There are so many, uh, so many fantastic stuff. Another song I want to highlight is called Hanging on a Loser. Deals with this whole question about, hey, you know, you choose to be with me, all right? Why, all right? If, if, if there are so many things that I disappoint you with, if there are so many things that you don't like about me, or then, and you complain about it, then why stick around, all right? There must be something I'm doing right. And uh, so I think that also, you know, that was like uh, a, a great song. So overall, like the album, has 10 songs it clocks a little over an hour there are, there are pretty long songs there are like six seven minute sheets so but uh they're really great great uh emotional it's a great emotional roller coaster ride i don't think you need or you have to listen to this album when you're really really depressive because i don't think it's going to really help you but um i think there is stuff on this uh, that's uh, those are like life stories that we can all relate to and i think there is something for everyone uh, on this specific uh, record. Great, great album that I can highly recommend. Now, let us have a look at the whole package, all right? Uh, the album, like I said in the beginning of this video, the artwork here is absolutely stunning, all right? This hourglass thing, which is a broken hourglass, perfectly sets the tone for the content of the uh, album itself. It could not have been better than this. Uh, like, like I already told you, time is this running theme in the album, but it deals with, with heartbreak, with loss, with uh, uh, trying to get up again after making those deep dives in life. So broken hourglass, right? Like representing the broken things in our lives that we have to fix and only time uh, will uh, help us uh, being able to fix the stuff that, that get broken. That's a really, really nice, uh, really nice artwork. On the flip side, we have the Joan, uh, Joe Bonamassa uh, logo uh, and, of course, uh, the songs. Uh, it's produced by Kevin Shirley, uh, mixed by Bob Clearmountain and uh, Roy Wiseman. 
those names don't mean anything to me except for a Kevin Shirley because I am a huge Iron Maiden fan as well and he happens to be the house producer for Iron Maiden for a, a, a lot of years already. It's a gatefold sleeve and uh, here we have a picture of John Bonamassa uh, walking his miles I think like not only have does he have the wild the, the miles under his wheels but I think also under his shoes in this case and uh, there you go. I got a special edition here that's limited to uh, let's see well, it's a limited edition to 7,000 copies on gold vinyl. Now, I got to tell you that this is absolutely stunning. Look at this. Look at the gold marbled color of the vinyl. It's really great. It's really fantastic. And um, so other than just being a great album it actually also has a great package so it's the total picture of this album that makes it a winner in my book the great thing about this album is it comes with a great booklet uh, this is really this is really a tasty thing guys this is a good example of how it should be present your album with a nice booklet like this that contains all the lyrics to the songs uh, again it has this the similar artwork then as on the front on the back and then every page here it's like 15 pages or something has uh pictures and uh which uh kind of like represent the theme of the song that is representing them every song in this album is accompanied by a great picture and I think they did, they really did a great job in, uh, in doing that. And this is a good example of how a complete package of a record should be. Lyrics, artwork, and this is really what makes vinyl so interesting. So, there you go. Um, Joe Bonamas have Time Clocks, great album. And I can highly recommend this. And uh, I would really, I'm really interested in if you know this album, what your opinions about this album is. Tell me anything about your favorite songs from this one. Leave a comment, highly appreciate it. Also, um, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. So, anyway, Time Clocks by Joe Bonamassa. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.